Me Swimming Pothead, and today I'm going to do a very short tutorial on how to set up your OBS settings so that you can stream your sims. I'm so sorry it took this long for me. Um, I've been doing a lot um, this summer. I've been working, I've been hanging out with my friends, I've been trying to sort my life out, uh, ready to go back to college. Um, but yeah, here we go. So first what you want to do is go into your settings. So in your settings, you will have um, these number of things. First, you're going to press on stream. This is important. This is so that you can stream your sims. Um, you um, Here is a stream key. So um, what you do is you go into your Google Chrome. You go into your Twitch account. So you log into Twitch. You're going to be in this home page. You go into here. You go into channel. So then you're going to, oh, sorry, then maybe yeah, you go into your dashboard and then you go down on the side and you go into your settings and you press channel. So here you have your stream key. So you're going to want to copy this and paste it into your OBS stream key right here. Um, don't show anyone else your stream key, of course, um, and that um, will allow you to stream. So then when you press start streaming, your stream will show up on your Twitch. And then when you want to stop streaming, you press stop streaming. That is the simplest of things. But now I'm going to teach you the settings um, that you should probably be in so that your streams will be not laggy um, and things like that because I was struggling a lot with that and honest to God, I have no idea how I made it work because I had a problem where it was like streaming and then there were these black strips on the side and I didn't understand what this display problems were. So I'm going to give you the exact things to set up for your Sims so that you know um, what to do for that um, so that your streams will turn out not laggy, not too blurry, um, and things like that. So let's just go down and say what like I um, clicked and you guys can pause the video and set it that way if you want. So I just did all of this, nothing's clicked here, source lineman, I clicked all those. Uh, da, da, da. It comes like this basically. Um, here I did streaming services, Twitch, um, server, auto, output. I put for streaming, two here, very fast, main, true, do, two. Um, here I put nothing, nothing, and nothing. So for audio, I put all of these nothing very I think it all comes like this and now video is where it's most important I put um, the resolution for 1920 um, 1, by 1080 output I did so that's where the output you need to change because that's what makes it lag so much so I put 1152 times 648 which is pretty small um, and then for downscale I put the by cubic um, and then for the, this, the frames per minute, I put 30, um, you can put up to 60, but that's what's going to make it super, super slow. Um, for hockeys, you can just put like whatever you want so that instead of having to go on here, you can use those buttons to pause it and stuff. And for advanced, um, I think it was all the same, but I'll just scroll down so you guys can see exactly what I put put a delay of oh I think I changed that let's put that uh, maximum retries okay and there you go and so that's how you do that and then quickly I'll show you what these do so if you press a plus you can put other so like game capture you can put here at a game capture and then you can put for um, capture specific window, capture foreground, or capture any full screen application. So I would press specific window. Then the window is either um, is the Sims 4. So you're going to put Sims 4. And then, oh, 
my sims have loaded. Okay, I didn't even know my sims was open. So, ah. Uh, and see how my face is being covered. So what you want to do is I am the display capture. So you're going to want to put that, um, that's my, my, um, my screen video capture device goes in the front and then I can put my game capture in the front so that my face is in front of this. So there you um, another simple thing that you can do is you can put your logo here if you want your your YouTube logo. So you would press add and then you can put an um, image and then you just choose the image and then you can put it there. Um, it lets you do a number of things so you can just like work with that and see what you like. You can also go on certain websites where you can use... Um, uh, things for your Twitch showing like people who are viewing your Twitch, people who are um, chatting in the chat box, and add those kind of things too, which I had on my other computer. I just haven't set it up on here yet. Um, but yeah, it's really cool and can't wait to see what you guys do with it and hope this was helpful. Sorry, I was like kind of all over the place, but have a good day and keep on simming.